Hello, this is Shauna again for the Iron Shauna Project, cooking well using only ingredients on hand. Hey, so yes, I've gone temporarily purple. <laughs> I, I just wanted to get outside my comfort zone for a little while and try something new. I've not done anything crazy like this and I figured this is the time of my life to do it. So. Um, yeah, there we go. So today's recipe uh, is centered around a couple of food bank items that I got, a head of cauliflower, ta-da, and some cottage cheese. Uh, and this is inspired by an intern that I've worked with on the farm all summer long. Uh, we've got a couple weeks left in the season before I'm going to be solely on food bank uh, items, so um, getting ready to preserve a lot of foods for the winter. <laughs> uh, but back to the, the intern that I worked with on the farm, she had a clean eating recipe that she liked to make. It was a curried cauliflower recipe, uh, kind of a mo mock mashed potato. Am I saying that right? Um, and I'm going to do even a little more of a twist. I was looking online to see what recipes I could find for this. A, they don't normally use curry. And B, um, my blender is actually not in my kitchen here right now because I've been staying at my friend's house um, while she's healing from botulism, sadly. I can't believe I'm even mentioning this on this video, but uh, it's a very rare case um, and she's going to take a lot of months to recover, so I've been taking care of her house and cats for her. Um, but that's the long story version of my blender is down there and I'm here. So the Iron Shauna twist today is that these are going to be curried, smashed, mock potatoes. Got that? I'm not sure I do. <laughs> but here we go. Okay, so here's sort of the layout of all of the ingredients. We've got our one head of cauliflower, which we're going to steam and then smash with that thing right next to it. Uh, I think that's actually normally used for as a meat tenderizer, but you know, we're just using what we have on hand. The little bowl next to it is some curry, and I actually added some turmeric to it. I think curry already has some turmeric in it, but it's one of my favorite flavors, so it's about a tablespoon of each. Uh, and then I have one clove of garlic that I'm going to put through the garlic press, that's the black thing there, and our cottage cheese, and we'll just put it all together and see how it tastes. Here we go. So here's our cut up head of uh, cauliflower, I almost called it broccoli. <laughs> Wrong vegetable, Shauna. Uh, anyway, this uh, is in relatively even bits, and what we're going to do is we're going to actually steam it in this pan. There's about a quarter inch of water uh, ready to boil here, and we're just going to stick our florets in there for three to eight minutes until um, they are soft enough to be smashed. So we'll see how well I do with this. Um, if I move my head, the light kind of shines right into... There. There's your eye right there. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so we're dumping the florets into the pan. Okay, so this is pretty evenly distributed. Now I'm going to cover it with a baking pan. You can use whatever you want. Set the timer. I'm going to go for three to start with just because you can always add time as opposed to subtract time. So. Three. We'll start with three and come back. So while we are waiting for the broccoli to steam, I just want to mention that I am in no way a professional nutritionist. I troll around the internet and I find resources that I think are reputable and in a lot of cases I will sort of look for multiple sources that say the same thing about an ingredient and that's how I determine what I put in my nominal nutritional information. So just FYI. Uh, and I hear that beep, so it's getting close to time. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we have a nicely uh, steamed cauliflower, and um, I ended up putting them in for about six minutes. Plus, uh, at about minute four, I realized that the garlic shouldn't be raw, so I actually took the um, garlic press and pressed the garlic, and what was left, the, there's a sort of a piece that gets left inside the grinder, um, and just dice that up and threw it in the pan with the um, steaming cauliflower so that will get a little soft as well. 
Now we're going to remove it from the heat and start smashing. So um, now that we've got the mashed, smashed cauliflower in a bowl, we're going to take our cottage cheese and just dump that right in. About a container. Not picky about it. Um, this is going to lend some moisture and texture to the recipe. Um, and don't forget the spices, curry and in this case turmeric tablespoon of each. Just mix that right up. After all of that mess, you may need a shower, <laughs> as I know I will, um, and your kitchen may need a little more cleaning, but you will have gotten out some aggression, so, uh, and you may have a tasty little side dish. No, I like it. I'll probably keep smashing on this, but I'll spare you the whole drama of that. And, um, you know, feel free to add more garlic, pepper, other spices as you wish. Um, as you noticed, I messed with the, the I didn't just put uh, the full two tablespoons of curry in. I, I mixed it up and did one of each of the curry and the turmeric. Uh, the two tablespoons, I wouldn't mess with that quantity total though. Um, just maybe divvy up the spices a little differently if you like. If you like maybe some cayenne, a little bite, or mustard, or you know, you name it. Just go through your spice cupboard and see what happens. Okay, so this is me for Iron Shawn. Um, we just made smashed mock potatoes with curry. Yes, I got it. Have fun. See you next time.